first of all, thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, today we will have our art event and it will be hosted by your beloved co coaches, Tejas and Ania. Okay, so you guys can start. Okay, so Tejas, would you like to screen share or I'll do it? Uh, no, I'll screen share because I have a like I have multiple presentations. So um, let us begin. All right. So um, everybody, welcome to the X Culture Art event. Um, today we're going to be covering a few things. Today we'll be showcasing some of the artworks that you guys have made. We will also be showcasing some of the photos that you guys have taken for the photography um, challenges as well. But before we begin, we will be having a mini activity. So um, um, if the um, like senior coaches could keep their cameras on, and if you guys could grab a pen and a paper, um, let me just introduce the uh, the mini activity to you. Um, Rafael, do you want to switch your camera on, or are you going to keep it off? I cannot see him, but I hope you're there. So. Um, basically, the mini activity is very, very simple. You will have about 30 seconds to draw a very weird prompt of art that I will be giving you. And you will have to then share it with everybody. Um, for those of you that are part of the attendees, I hope you guys stay along. Because um, I think this will be a great way for you guys to um, showcase your... Um, artistic merit and talent. So without further ado, let us begin. So the rules are simple. I hope you guys have understood. You'll be getting a prompt, 30 seconds to draw that prompt. Um, do you want to begin? Is everybody ready? All right, cool. Yep. Um, so your first prompt is, and you have 30 seconds for this. Um, prompt number one, um, draw a cat eating a cactus. And you have 30 seconds to draw that. Um, have fun. What? A cat eating a cactus. You have 30 seconds, Raphael. Hurry up. Tejas, are you also doing it? Um, I was thinking of doing it, but then I saw my drawing and then I decided not to do it. All right, so your time is up, guys. Let us see uh, what you guys have made. Um, okay. okay, maybe I, I don't want you show it, to share it too. <laughs> Wait, Tejas, you should share it. You have, you have no choice. It's little, I no. think it, it cannot share. I can't even see oh, okay. Okay, fine, fine, fine. That's cool, that's cool. And how about you? Me? Here. <laughs> I have the blur on one set. There. What if we can now share in the Discord channel? Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, yeah, put it up on Discord, guys. Um, If you guys are in the attendees and you're doing it as well, put it up on Discord. Um, Leon, do you want to like switch your camera on and show us what you made? She has very conveniently switched hers off. Um. Leon, are you there? Uh, okay. I don't know if she is there. All right. So we're going to go on to prompt number two. So prompt number two um, is uh, draw a cotton candy monster. So I hope you guys know what cotton candy is. You have 30 seconds to draw a cotton candy monster. I don't know what, what it is. Cotton candy monster look like. I'm not sure this? about that, Rafael. Okay, how about you draw an ice cream monster instead because cotton candy and ice cream kind of like are similarly shaped. Monster? I already started on the cotton candy. Might as well finish the cotton. I already started the cotton candy monster. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> And your 30 seconds 
or op. So show us what you got. Rafael, you first. Why you want me to be embarrassed first? I I don't know what is. Can you can I? <laughs> <laughs> It looks so. Okay, that's that's cute. that's very cute. That's very. Cute. Look, I'm forgetting the name of the Pokemon that it looks like. Um, let me let me let me just find that. Till then, you could just Pokemon. screenshot. Oh, you... Yes, that's yes, purple the purple. one. Um, Here, it's ghost. not angry. Um, that's, that's that's cute. That's, that's not a monster. That's a cloud. <laughs> It was supposed to be angry. Um, that's cute, though. Um, all right. So for Doctor B and uh, Pooja, we're just um, doing a fun activity, and Leon's also been able to switch her camera on right now. And so is Emily. Hey guys. Um, so we're just doing a fun activity wherein you'll be getting a very weird prompt, and you have thirty seconds to draw that prompt out on a sheet of paper. So I hope you guys have a paper and wait. a pen lying around. I have to go. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta go get a paper. Okay, all right, all right. Thank you. Um, oh, so, we have yeah. a Pokemon I fan here. Joanne said it's Mug. Okay, so you have to give us a prompt and then you, we get 30 seconds to draw it? Yes, 30 seconds to draw it. And it's a, it's a weird prompt. That's the catch. Okay. okay. All, right. all right. And finally, so your third prompt of the day is you have to draw a son eating a pizza. And your time starts now. Um, and um your time is going to get over in five seconds and three two one and time's up so guys um lift your papers up and show us what you got um dr b you have the blur background on so i cannot see uh Pooja, you have the virtual background on so i can't see emily you have the virtual background on so i cannot see um that is cute in here um Cool, that's very cute, Pooja. Um, Leon, you can't. Leon, you're cheating. Leon, stop drawing. Leon, stop drawing. That is called cheating. That is very cute, uh, Dr. B. Um, Emily, how about you? What do you have? Can't really see it, but that's looking cute. I'm um, Emily, I'm on mute. I don't know, can you guys see mine? I'm gonna Wait. trace over it with a pen real fast. I got a marker for a reason. <laughs> that's cute. You are okay. a smart Leon, show yours. Um, <laughs> Leon, so you stop completing yours. Leon, stop completing. Yours. Wait, okay. Leon, my you're cheating. Leon, you're cheating. <laughs> my masterpiece. Oh, wow. that's good. all right. Um, okay. So thank you very much for taking part in that very fun activity. With that, we shall begin. Um, so um, I will be conducting this presentation with the help of my um, um, co-conductor for the day, Ania. And uh, basically, this is what we will be covering. We will be covering the various prompts. We'll be discussing the various artworks you guys made. And we will also be showcasing some of the um, paintings that you guys had done with the coloring sheets that I shared. So with that, I will pass it on to Ania to talk. They just you muted yourself too early, but can you go back to the first slide, like the title slide? Okay, so this is the art event for 2021 round two. And the first time we had this was actually last semester. So for the so just to sum it up, the art event and the art program, they're most likely the same thing, except the program's the thing that runs with uh is the thing that's running. So it's like the, those are the prompts. The event is today. So uh they just next slide. So our first theme was Spring on Jupiter and Mars by, uh, this prompt was given by Tejas from a song. And All right, so, um, yeah, before like you continue, could I just like, give a little introduction to the theme? So um, Spring on Jupiter and Mars is actually a lyric um, from Fly Me to the Moon by Frank Sinatra, very famous song, very popular. 
um so the reason it was picked was because it's a little bit it's it's a love song uh, but the lyric in itself is very very like um imaginative and image based so we had a lot of um, crazy and cool artworks so on to Okay, so first, our first two submissions are from Kevin and from Anfal. Anfal wrote up. Sounds like it looks like a song to me since it's layered on top of each other. Then Kevin submitted a digital artwork. Next. We also have poems from both of our coaches here, Tejas and Layon. If you'd like to take a second to read that. Also, if you guys have any comments, any um, interpretations of the work, any positive feedback, please feel free to leave them in the chat for any of the pieces of work that you see. We would love to hear your thoughts. And I'm sure the people who made the works would too. Okay, next slide. Uh, maybe you... I don't know if we have time and maybe you guys can talk a little bit about it. I'm not sure. Oh, about our works? Yeah. Oh yeah, since you are here, Lyon, Lyon first. Lyon, go ahead. First. Talk about your... Um, okay, so this piece is technically, I was just like, I just, you know, how do I explain this? I just get like a random topic and start writing about it. So there's no really like, meaning behind this or emotional attachment but it's just something I think a lot of people could almost relate to in a sense I don't know how more to talk about it to take it um yeah no I get you because I think mine's more of like a specific emotion that I get towards a certain scenario that I have surrounded myself in slash certain environment that I found myself in and yeah that's just basically what I penned down Next are from Joan and Gayatri. Gayatri, if you guys remember, she was actually in our cooking class the other week, I think. Okay, next one. Oh, it's my work. It's from me and Hasham. I'll talk about my work. That is not for this prompt, but it was just my art my art homework that I decided to submit here kind of fits in because there's a Jupiter at the very side for the artwork. And next. And next is from Joanne. I think it's a nice background. Our second prompt for week two was it's all right not to have a dream as all the as all the breaths you breathe, you are already in paradise. I know there's a spelling error somewhere here. They just told me after I finished it. This was from the song Paradise by BTS. Do you just want to talk briefly about why you picked the scene? It was a lot of weeks ago, and I remember I picked this theme because somebody told me to listen to the song Paradise. And our, one of the other prompts had the word Paradise in it, so I remembered this song. Oh, maybe you can also sing to us? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for our submissions, we have Gabriella and Casey. I really like the mandala. It goes so well with the breathing part of the lyrics. Are they in the, the, the meeting? Maybe they can talk a little bit about it. Are they here? If you're here and you want to talk about your artwork, you can just raise your hand. Oh, they are, they are. I think, I think Casey's here. And um, yeah, I think uh, Gabrielle actually left the program, but Casey's here. Um, in case you guys so, want to talk about your artwork, you can raise your hand and we'll promote you. Yeah, or put it in the chat. Um, why did you create what you made? And the rest of you all that haven't made these artworks, what do you guys think? Um, do let us know. Because personally, I believe, yes, the mandala is really, really uh, beautiful. I, I only do those with the app on my phone. I can't really do it um, freehand. So really cool to see how people make this stuff. I've tried freehanding it. 
It's so hard. Next is from Marty and Alvin. Marty's is nice pop art. Yeah, I think Alvin shared something that was off of his Instagram. So it's cool to see that you guys um, share stuff that you guys do. So it's, yeah, it's, that's really cool. For our okay, next so, submission, uh, is this uh, person anonymous? Uh, Ania, before like, you continue, I'll just interrupt you. So Casey says, actually, the mandala is for the spring on Mars and Jupiter prompt. Oh. Okay, um, so I think it might have been submitted a little bit later because it was in the next week. So I'm so sorry that I grouped it incorrectly, but that was really, really cool. Great job to you. Um, yes, and yes, this person is anonymous because they haven't changed their name on Discord to their actual name. And I think this is another work by Casey. If you wanna okay. also talk about that. Casey. You're gonna see her featured a lot because she has submitted a lot of like, artworks, all of which are like beautiful. She had time. Uh, so Casey, um, like if you want to talk, you can raise your hand or else if you want to put it in the chat, that would also be really cool. Okay, um, it's permitted, she can talk. Um, Casey, go ahead. Um, okay, hi guys. So Casey, hey. where are you from? And I guess why you joined Expo? I'm from Indonesia. Oh. So you want to so talk about, about your artwork here? Okay. So about the drawing is uh the uh the blue lines on the background kind of like describe the breathing, and it, it came from the girl's uh, lungs, and it uh so like it kind of like described a uh, breathing from the lungs and then go through the mandala above her head. So like that's just kind of uh what the theme. That's nice. Thank you. And you want to talk about your? Do you want to talk about your artwork? Because I see that you have it in the background, and it looks really cool. Um. Yeah. Like. Uh. I've been uh drawing and like especially in mandala art since about two thousand and seventeen, I guess. And I've been really invested to like learn a lot about mandala and its culture. So like, it's been a great journey for me to learn and draw. That's nice. That's really cool. um, so I think Casey can just like hang around for a little bit because you will have a lot of your other artworks all to showcase. So we'd love to hear from you a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. So that will go to our next slide then. So our next slide is the Garden of Words. This prompt is by Pooja. So Pooja, if you could kindly give an explanation for this prompt. Yeah, sure. So the Garden of Words is taken from an animated movie with the same name, Garden of Words. In this movie, uh, the characters lived on with their feelings frozen, but together through the conversations in their words, they find companionship. And I chose this prompt because um, ex is also a Garden of Words. So that's it. So our submissions for this week mostly include of flowers and Casey, if you still want to talk about your work here since you appeared once again. Uh, okay, so like for, uh, for this prompt, I just like uh, include some words in the flower. So there's like, there's the word free, there's the word kind, there's the love, pretty, love, brave. It's just like, uh, beautiful and encouraging words that I like. So I just put them in a flower and in the garden, of course. Is it possible to zoom, zoom in, Ania? Um, no, it is not possible to zoom in, unfortunately. But yeah. Um, also, we have Gayatri in the audience. Gayatri, do you want to talk about your work? Um, or if you just want to type it out in the chat, that would also be really, really helpful. Uh, because you also have a lot of submissions. I just allow so you, okay. Gayatri to talk. You can open your mic if you want. Yeah, Gayatri, if you, yeah, Gayatri, if you want to unmute, go ahead.
Well, I made this prompt for like fun. I did not mostly understand this, so. That's okay, that's no worries. That's cool. That's cool, that's cool. Also, I just like want to highlight that. I think Gayatri, you mentioned that all of the like drawings over here, you've drawn it with words. So that's really cool. Yeah, um, actually, right. yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Um, so, yeah. um, on to you, Anya. Our next prompt is Evermore. This is from Taylor Swift's album Evermore, if I'm not mistaken. This prompt was taken for this day because someone told me to do it. Special someone told me to do it. My best friend actually loves Taylor Swift. They just I saw that look when I said special someone. <laughs> My best friend loves Taylor Swift, and she asked for that prompt. And once again, it's Gayatri and Casey. In case you want to talk about your artwork, guys. Mm, okay, so for mine, uh, the background I took from the Evermore uh, album cover, and then it was just like a girl sitting on like a stack of tape. Because like the lyric mentioned about I rewind the tape. So like I just like combined them into like a painting. Gatsu, how about you? Well, the my my one of my friends, her name is Juhi. She gave me this idea of doing this, um, you know, making this. So it's her idea mostly, but I've done the execution. That's really cool. That's um, great friendship. Okay, so <laughs> you just stop laughing at me. For week five, we have I Want to Dance and the Music Got Me Going from BTS's song again, Permission to Dance. So for this week, this song was chosen because this song is a really upbeat and uh, joyful song. It talks about like, if you, if you heard their UN speech, it talks about how the generation right now that's in COVID, it's not really the lost generation, but we're the welcome generation. So this song is sort of something that is a motivation to keep our generation going. And it's Casey once again. Um, so for this one, it was just like a quick uh, doodle that like uh, I took the word like from the title of the song, Permission to Dance. And then I added like some doodles with uh, very colorful colors that, that like describe the feeling when I heard, when I hear the song, because it was really, like a really fun, and a catchy song that just like boosts my mood every time I hear it. So yeah, that just kind of described the feeling. Yeah, this is really, really cool and really colorful, I'd say. I love word art. I love um, the calligraphy. Unfortunately been... for the next, unfortunately for the next um, topic, we did not get any submissions. So we'll be, yeah. if you want to explain the topic and yeah, you can go ahead, but like we don't have submissions for this one. Okay, this is like a follow-up for each five, but no one submitted. Anyways, it's just six words that we hope that will bring, if I'm not mistaken, six words that we hope that people follow since good people, good energy, good vibrations. Okay, I guess we'll skip to week seven then since we did not get any submissions for this week. Okay, so I'll pass it back to you, Tejas, since this is yours. All right, so this is the title and a lyric in a very famous um, Beatles song called Strawberry Fields Forever. Um, and it's basically um, one of the more like famous exploits of the very legendary rock band into the genre of psychedelic music. So um, Strawberry Fields Forever is, okay, it's also um, sort of like an allusion to this particular uh, place that um, uh, John Lennon used to like to go to, uh, which is called the Strawberry Field um, um, Hospital um, for kids. And um, he would love to go there because um, it was in Liverpool, which is where the band's from. And so Strawberry Fields Forever is sort of a song that is reminiscing childhood 
but it's also uh, talking about a lot of various other psychedelic themes. So that was basically um, the reason why we chose this. And we have a submission from none other than Leon. Um, Leon, do you want to talk about this? Okay, um, for some reason, all the like, poetry I've put on Discord also like the, the submissions have like no meaning behind it in a sense. It was just, I did not want to study for school. Um, so I ended up <laughs> writing a poem and he gave me a lovely poem. So this is basically how it came about. That's very cool. I would say that this was like very, very descriptive and I really quite enjoyed this um, short sort of writing. All right, so with that, we, um, okay, no, we have we have we have something remaining. I'm so sorry. Um, we have the various um, drawings and the various like um, paintings that you guys had made. So let me just showcase those real quick. So some of you might remember that um, we um, had sent out a few um, coloring templates on our Discord channel. Well, we got a few interesting submissions. So the first ever coloring template we sent out was sort of fall themed because we were getting into the groove of fall by then. Um, it was a turkey, um, but we have some very, very interesting adaptations. I think one of them is by Casey, if you want to talk about that. And I think there was there were a few from Jigisha. Jigisha, if you want to talk about this too, um, we could um, like promote you as well. So Casey, go ahead. Uh, for mine, I choose like a very muted colors. Uh, it was like not a very bright colors. I choose like a muted colors, like a uh, pretty dark green and then like a light purple and also like light blue. And then I added like a, a background behind it with like just a watercolor with a brown color. Yeah, that's it. All right, um, Rafael, can you just promote Jigisha? Okay, Jigisha, do you want to talk about your um, work? Yeah, it wasn't anything specific. I just wanted to make it colorful. All right, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Um, okay, moving on to the second and the final uh, template. We had one submission from Kevin and one submission from Casey. So is Kevin in the audience? I am not sure. Yes, he is. Um, Rafael, could you just promote him? All right, Kevin, do you want to talk about your um, submission and why you chose this particular yeah. color? Yeah. Uh, I'm not a particular artist. So yeah, mine is more of a concept as what I mentioned in the chat. Uh, and I use like the spray method uh, on the on the art, uh, on the piece because, well, it feels magical. Like it's like fading. It, it, it just feels like a glow from the unicorn. That's why I use the fading. Um, yeah, that's, that's really cool, man. Um, that's actually very, very true. I was also like, when I tried coloring this, I think I went for a similar vibe. All right. So Casey, do you want to talk about, um, what you came up with? Uh, for mine, actually same with Kevin. I chose, uh, like bright and colorful colors because it was like a magical theme, right? So I chose like a bright pink, like cyan, also like purple and that kind of stuff that like, kind of uh, describe the feeling of like unicorns. That's very, very cool. So with that, we come to an end of the um, art part of the presentations. Um, panelists, would you guys like to talk a little bit more general thoughts on everybody else's work apart from your own? Any of the coaches? Um, I can see a few coaches that haven't spoken like Sharon, Luis, do you guys want to talk? I'm so impressed with how creative everybody was. All the artwork looks so great and like a lot of different styles. I really like the diversity in material. I could see crayons, mandalas, digital art. It was really amazing. Very, very true. Anybody else? Um, so seeing none, if you... Yeah, no, ahead, Dr. B, I couldn't figure out how to yeah, unplug my ahead, phone. Ahead. <laughs> so I, I really enjoyed how colorful everything um, is today or was today. Um, and given the situation that we're all experiencing right now, and honestly, for you guys being teenagers, you know, two years in this lockdown situation or uh, level of uncertainty, 
um, it really does make you feel anxious, right? Or somewhat maybe depressed. And I like how you guys incorporated um, color and um, how you basically changed your, let's just say your, your pandemic experience with visions that you're expressing through the art. So I think that that's commendable that you guys are finding outlets that's happy and pleasant and joyful. And I just think that you guys should all continue doing this because again, you know, this pandemic situation is not going to go away. I think this is a new normal for us. And however way you can express yourselves that will make you joyful and happy, I think that that's what you need to do. Because remember, 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 everything begins with a thought. Everything begins with a thought. The computer started off as a thought. The cell phone started off as a thought. And the digital media that you guys are creating right now all started off as a thought. So if you can use your imagination to create these beautiful, joyful things, you're going to be a healthier, happier human. So continue to do that. All right. Um, thank you so much, Dr. B, for those lovely words. And yeah, I do agree with everything that you have said. Now we'll be moving on to do something that is um, sort of co-moderated by uh, both Leon and I. It is something that we started not too long ago. Um, it's the X-Culture Photography Gallery. So we, um, every week, send out prompts and questions. And um, we ask people to share photo uh, photographs that they may think either interpret that particular theme or sort of answer that question. So uh, because there were so many submissions, both um, from like the this particular event and before, I only stuck to those that were submitted once we started this event. So um, we won't be able to cover all the photographs that are present in the photography channel, but we do have some really interesting submissions. So um, let us begin by first talking about what our aims were for this program. So our aims were to encourage budding photographers to increase student interactivity and creativity, to have insight into your various lives because all of us come from different cultures, to provide students with personal expression and to increase communal growth as well. With that, let us begin into the various photographs. So theme number one was lines and this was a photograph that I had clicked. Um, I think this sort of shows the crazy nature of lines and I like sort of did this one afternoon. Then we had this submission from Gayatri. I think she mentioned uh, on the channel that the one in the back was something that her father had clicked uh, like a while back and this is her recreated version. So Gayatri, do you want to talk about this? Well, the weather was clear, so why not? That's, that's, that's true, that's true. It's, very, it's a very pretty photo. Um, all right um then we have two more submissions from you i think these were the more like theme oriented submissions do you want to talk about that well these are some random photographs that i take i mean i have a lot of photos like that so yeah um that's very cool um all right so then this was me um again i was just like fooling around one day and because like so lines are a very, very important aspect of photography. Um, for those of you who might be studying or like wanting to study photography, they actually guide the way the eyes move in the photograph. But what happens when you like order lines in a very random manner, um, the eyes move around the entire photograph. So you um, sort of look into the entire image as a whole. So that's why I just like fooled around with a bunch of green beans and I made this. Um, Ania, do you want to talk about your picture? Okay, so for my picture, this was actually taken in 2019 when I went to this hotel and when they just said he was going to do this and lines, I thought of this photo because their ceiling is actually a mirror that is facing towards their ceiling. So I took a photo of the mirror. Their ceiling is full of those lines. And you can tell I was not paying attention to everything because my cousin's foot is just there. 
that's that's perfectly fine man at least we get to see but here are a few more submissions from you do you want to talk about this um oh okay so there's two one they're both the first photo in the front is a school event of my brother's school it's called senior rave so this was february of 2020 literally before lockdown in my country ha- happened in march this was literally just two weeks before that so this is when the seniors they all take colored powder and they throw it in the sky together once like the beat drops there's music playing for the photo at the back it's actually a concert in my school that was held also in january of 2020 right before the pandemic and it's just full of colors that's very cool um, do we have rabia in the audience what do you want to talk about with this no we do not have rabia um so rabia sent a photo of herself at cared for which for those of you who don't know that's a departmental store and this has various lines so that's very cool um jigisha do you want to talk about your submissions yeah i just like to click photos and uh, that cat is a uh, actually a stray cat who lives in our garage and she has three kittens they that's just like cool. to mess around with us that's cute um all right so this was another photo that i clicked i think the lines in the background from the pigeon net really contrast this bird that i found and i sort of edited this to look almost like a painting because it was not a very clear photo because the bird was very very far off but um like so this is um i think i'm forgetting what exact but uh, this is i'm pretty sure this is a common rock sparrow um but i might be wrong and i'll pass it on to leon who has a very beautiful submission um okay so this is like the first time i've gone to the beach for like a really long time so i just like needed to capture the moment that's the picture <laughs> that's cool um okay joan are you there is joan in the audience um jo i there is a different joan i think um i don't think this particular joans in the audience rather unfortunate but um yeah so these were her submissions um all right so this was another submission from my side so this is actually a very oddly shaped silverfish cocoon um that i found um like just hanging around randomly so i decided to capture it it's actually very very small it's smaller um it's 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 less than half a centimeter small so um i really had to like um use a macro lens um camera so um so that i could capture it like effectively casey do you want to talk about this um I guess Casey is not with us anymore in the meeting, so um, we'll move on. Emily, um, do submissions from your side. Do you want to talk about these? Yeah, um, I just I just bought a new phone and it has a night mode camera, and I was really excited, and I was playing with it one day when I was taking my dog for a walk. That's cool. And so. Okay. I just took pictures of the chemtrails from the the contrails from the planes. That's really cool. That's really cool. Um, okay, so two more submissions from me. I think this moves into theme number two that we had. The second theme was home. So um, basically, this the one on the left is sort of my more rough submission for home. It's not really a well like. um plan photograph but it's basically a very rare bird that you don't necessarily see in most cities so i live in mumbai and mumbai is as you know a very metropolitan city in india and it's like almost too metropolitan in that there's a lot of pollution so that you don't really see birds especially wild birds such as this but the area with which i live in is very very green so you often see these birds that you won't normally see in a city so that's probably why um this signifies home for me This was a three leaf clover um that I just picked up randomly and I decided to click a photo of it against the setting sun. So yeah, kind of found that to be a little bit cool and that's why I sent this on the channel. Um again a submission from me. I guess there's a lot by me now. 
um so this was a little cute spider that i found and he's very very cute and he's very tiny um so yeah i just wanted to show everybody how he looked um riaz is not with us in this meeting but she um sent a few submissions um from these two cute cats and um three cute cats sorry actually so those really are from me oh those are from you okay i got that confused um please go ahead talk about the cats yeah those are just the same cats uh, that live in my garage and they try to scratch up the seat of the bike Oh, that's cute. Okay, I'm so sorry I messed this up, but yeah, this is really really adorable. Okay, Joanne again not here, but again a beautiful photo of the rising sun. Gayatri, do you want to talk about this submission? Well, I click a photo if I see something beautiful, and the skies were so contrasting, and the setting sun was beautiful. Yeah, I think we had this conversation on Discord the other day. Do you guys prefer setting suns or rising suns more? Personally, I'm more of a setting sun guy. You'll see why because a lot of my submissions will be about that. So put it in the chat. Uh, which one do you guys prefer personally? Sunsets. Yeah, Leona and Priyuti. Okay, so here on the left you have a particular bird called the shikra. Um, the shikra is a predatory bird found in South Asia. Um, and I like sort of uh, found it like. out hunting at night and then i just like clicked a photograph using my like um night lens and over here is almost sort of um a halo effect created by a very oddly shaped um spider net which has a bunch of like um spangled items in it there's no insects but it's just like interesting and really cool to look at um yeah a very odd pattern i found and a very cool looking light bulb and uh, this is my city at night so this is basically how it looks like um late at night which is what makes it really cool um jigisha do you want to talk about this yeah i was attending my online class and uh, there's a glass painting at the back that my mom made and uh, there's like a glass wall that has a door so the sunlight was coming and the reflection was like this oh that's really cool yeah very very vibey i would say um yes this is why i prefer the settings on as you can see these both of these okay so um, i know they're not really aligned that well there's this stuff over there but mind you there is a very very tiny crack between two buildings from which i can see the settings on and between those two buildings i need to click the photograph also it's through a a pigeon net so it's really really like painful but yeah it's cool to always see the setting sun also mind you this is not like photo edited or anything the sky was just very red at that time for some reason um and finally on to leon do you want to talk about these beautiful shots of the sky Um, okay, so this was actually taken last night, and I haven't seen a pretty sunset in a really, really long time. And when I saw this, I think I kind of freaked out. My parents thought I was going insane or something because I was like trying to find my camera, and then I was like slamming doors and like everything like that. But it was worth it because they were really pretty. So yeah, that is my story. <laughs> yeah, these are beautiful. And um, yeah, if you want to check out the other photos that are submitted. please head on over to discord and with that i would like to end my presentations so rafael if you have anything to say um i guess i'm done now so you can continue thank you very much tejas and anil and thank you everyone for sharing your art today was awesome i really enjoy everything that you shared so thank you very much okay uh for this week You guys are supposed to be finishing your report section too, right? So make sure to submit your draft as soon as possible. You have to tomorrow. Okay. Next week, you guys are going to start the section three. So it's about operation management. So make sure to have a meeting with your peers and start to work on section 3 as well okay for and uh, next week we will have a guest speaker 
So make sure to join as on Tuesday or Thursday, I will send an email and I will let you know uh, who will be the guest speaker. And I hope you guys uh, join us as well. Okay. I think that's it. You guys have any questions, concerns? No. And as always, if you have any problems, feel free to contact your coaches. They will be there for you anytime to help you with the report or solving any conflict in your team. Okay. Thank you guys. See you, see you next weekend. Bye bye. Peace and love. Peace and love. Bye bye. Peace and love.